Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about the standard deviation. What is the standard deviation? Well, a good definition is the following. The standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. And in the last couple of videos, we showed you how to calculate the variance. The variance was calculated by taking the difference between the average value and individual values we take those differences, we square them, we sum them all up, and divide by the total number of values that we're dealing with. Now, in the case of a sample variance, where the numbers that we're dealing with is simply a sampling of a greater population, then we need to divide by n minus 1. In the example we used before, where we had town B that had five houses sold in 2018, those are the house prices of the five houses sold, and we found the mean or the average house price to be $200,000 and we calculated the mean absolute variance which means the average difference between the house price and the prices of the houses as they were sold and we found that the average difference and of course we take the absolute value because we only want positive differences the average difference was $24,000 even that means greater or less than the average price then when we calculated the variance, well, what we did was we took the difference between each of the house prices and the average. We squared those. We summed them all up. There were five of those differences. We summed them all up. We divided by five, and that gave us what we call the variance. Now, in our case, the variance was 800 million. Now, to calculate the standard deviation, we take the variance, which is this quantity right here, which is s squared, and we take the square root of that and then only take the positive value of that square root. And so we use two symbols. We either use s, because s is the square root of s squared, or we use the, the symbol sigma, the Greek letter sigma. Either one means the same thing. It means the absolute, it means the standard deviation, and it's the square root of the variance, the square root of s squared, and s squared is defined by this right here and by now we should be familiar with the variance putting in the numbers that we had so, so we get a feel for the type of number we're going to get we take the 4 billion divided by 5 which was 800 million we take the square root of that and we end up with 28,284 being the standard deviation from the mean the standard deviation from the average house price value now notice the standard deviation is a bigger number than the mean absolute variance. Now for the daily experience of a typical person going to buy a house in town B, you want to know what the average price was and you want to know what the mean absolute variance is. What is the typical difference between the average price and the price of the houses? But to get a better scientific concept, we need to use the standard deviation. And we'll show you in the next several videos why the standard deviation is a better comprehensive way of figuring out the variation between the average price and the actual prices of the houses. And you'll see how the standard devi deviation can be used to figure out all kinds of things. Now we'll show you in the next videos how to do that. But note that the standard deviation is typically larger than the mean absolute variance or the average difference between the average price and the actual price of the house. Now in the next videos we're going to use a different sampling of numbers. We're going to use a different set of numbers, smaller numbers, so we can more easily work with them. Of course these diff big numbers are difficult to manipulate and we'll show you to how to systematically calculate the standard deviation. There's actually a secondary method of how to do that and we'll show you how to do that there as well. And then we're going to show you how to use the standard deviation. There's some very practical scientific ways to um, have standard deviation give you a complete insight into the distribution of the numbers and that's where this becomes a very powerful tool. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.